On the dashboard, we also have some methods for sending messages. This allows us to communicate directly with other users within DHIS2. We can do this by accessing the messages from the dashboard. First, let's write a message. This allows for direct communication between users. We can select individual users We can select user groups. You can see that these user groups are denoted by these multiple individuals that are grouped together on the icon. We can also select individuals by the organization units they're assigned to. For example, if I select Bird District, it will send a message to all the users that belong to Bird District. We can then write a subject. And a message. This allows us to keep communication internally within DHIS2 using the setup that's already been created. This can include user groups, individual users, as well as where those users are assigned. Let's go check to ensure that those users received our message. We'll log out, and we'll log back in with one of the users that I sent this message to. You can see when I log in, I have a prompt that reads one unread message. If I click on this, it will take me to messages. I can then see the message that I've been sent. Let's go back and use the feedback. The feedback works a little bit different than messages. Feedback allows us to identify anything that's problematic within DHIS2. We can come up with some text that identifies our problem. This will be sent to those users who are identified as managing this particular DHIS2 system. If I click on send, this will send this feedback to those users who are part of the user group that's been identified. Let's log in to one of those users in order to see how we can manage this feedback. For this particular user who's been identified as managing this feedback, we'll go to Messages. We can see there's actually a couple different items of feedback available. This is identified by a status ticket next to the feedback that's been provided. By default, all of the feedback in the system is assigned an open status. Let's have a look at the feedback that's been sent to this user to see how we can manage it a bit more. Each item of feedback is assigned a priority and a status. For the priority, we can assign it a low, medium, high, or no priority at all. We can also change the status. It can be open, pending, invalid, or solved. Within the feedback itself, we can make internal replies. This allows us to communicate within the user group to try and solve the issue that's been identified. When we're ready to respond to the user, we can click on Reply. If we go back to the messaging, we can see that this particular item of feedback has been assigned a status and a priority. If we go back and change the priority and status, We can see that this is also reflected in the messaging application. This feedback tool allows us to manage the variety of issues that might come up in a DHIS2 implementation and can be quite useful for prioritizing these different cases.